the worst, weirdest 24 hours of my life. This is a random video for me to make. I'm all alone. I want to talk to a camera. Unusual. It's these types of moments that make me question everything. And it's more than just a material possession getting stolen. It's the trauma of not thinking that someone would do that. I always have this problem. I've, I trust everybody too much. Um, I just don't think that bad, that people could do bad things because I never would. I don't understand that concept. I don't feel like putting up the big fancy camera. I haven't showered. I've, I'm making soup because I haven't eaten for an entire day. I don't want to make this type of video or at least like this is not the type of video that I want to make but it's it's the reality. I stayed up until 6 a.m. last night. I was in uh, on Oxford Street and apparently I didn't know this but this is how you learn I guess that is a very bad pickpocketing place. I've been to a lot of different countries, poorer countries too, and never been pickpocketed before. I had just gotten a new iPhone and I didn't put insurance on it because I'm stupid. I'm like, oh no, I'll wait a little bit because I was I was gonna put Apple Care on it. I just didn't get around to it because I was doing a lot before I left here to London and I got it just before. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid, I know, I know. Trust me, I just have a lot going on at all times. I, I have my phone on me all the time. I'm always like holding it or touching it at least. It's kind of like a security thing for me because I don't have security anywhere ever. And it's my connection to the whole outside world, especially whenever I'm traveling alone. And it also is a US number, so I've had that number forever. And um, I went there and I was just shopping on TK Maxx. It's TK Maxx here, not TJ. And it was pretty busy there. I don't know when the person took it out of my pocket, but I guess for a second I was looking through clothes and my hand wasn't on my phone. I realized it probably pretty immediately. I just went into shock because I'm like, I never lose my phone, ever. I never lose it, it is my security device. And I don't have a GPS, I don't know how to get around, I don't know where anything's at. And so I searched around the whole store several times and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, what do you do in this situation? You're in a foreign country, you lose your one source of communication with the world. Not only is it my phone, it's everything. It has, you know, my cards on it to pay for things, it has, all my um, accounts and it just it has everything on it and then i went down to the security officer by the door i'm like please like if you see my like if you see my like i'm like i'm like i don't know what to do he's like uh maybe try and track it at apple the apple store and i'm like okay so i ran to the apple store but i had to ask like three different people how to get there and unfortunately it was really close if it hadn't been close well not even fortunately because i went to the apple store and they're like so which password i'm like and i didn't have my password and then I had to find the police. I'm just frantic at this at this point. Like I'm I'm just there's so many people out. I'm I'm wandering around. I have no idea where I'm going. I just I had to try and ask anyone that I so that I, this guy just standing there. I'm just like, do you know where the police station is? Can, and he's like, no, but I'll look it up on my phone. So he looked it up and then he decided to walk with me there, which was so kind. And God, there is like one like this has been the worst 24 hours ever, but it has proven to me that there are really genuinely helpful people out there like the people that i asked for help they all tried to help to the best of their ability that police station didn't exist and then we walked to try and find another one and then we met up with his friend that worked at apple and his friend basically said not nah, you're fucked like you have no insurance you're if it's pickpocketed it's gone forever blah 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 so that was pointless and then we were walking forever it was suggested that i go into an e and e store which i never heard of i have t-mobile t-mobile is a u.s line and supposedly the, the UK has no T-Mobile stores. There's no T-Mobile existent here. The E&E &E store is like, you don't have a British number, like, so you, we can't help you. So I went to that store, no avail. Went back to TJ Maxx, asked the security guard, please, did you find it? And he's like, no, I'm sorry. And I went down into the metro station and I'm like, ah, there's two there's two police officers, officers standing there. So I, I tried to talk to them for like a while, trying to log into some accounts, nothing worked. They tried to call T-Mobile. There's no, the international T-Mobile wasn't picking up. So they're like, you know, just go and try and track your phone from your computer at home and, you know, call the police if it's still on. I went home and I tra tracked my phone and it was still on and it was moving. It was on the move. It was it was going up into north, up and up and up. And every time I checked it, it got further and further away. 
first it, I, I saw it, it was at TK Maxx, it was still there. And then they moved really quickly up out of London into the north. And I'm like, I need to contact the police. So I ran down to the reception and because I have no phone, I have nowhere to contact the police. And I asked the reception, the reception wasn't there, so I had to keep going back up down the stairs, which was a lot of stairs, and finally he was there, and he let me use his phone to call the police, but the police weren't answering. I <laughs> Ubered to the, ne the nearest police station, and the police station was completely closed, and I am just stood there, and I'm like, it's, it's the nightfall by this time. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I have no means to get home, because I, uh, the receptionist Ubered me, but I had no way to get back and I'm just standing there with my iPad and these two guys wa were walking past and I'm just like, the police station is closed? I'm like, oh, yeah, apparently. So one of them called the, the police for me on his phone and finally the police picked up. So I started talking to them and it was taking a while so we just started like, the two guys just started walking and I was walking alongside while I was using their phone because they were going somewhere and um, I started making a police report while I was walking and they're like, hey, you want a drink? I'm like, fuck it, yes, I do. So I uh, got a couple pints with these two Englishmen, um, Theo and Alistair. A very strange experience I never would have had otherwise. Um, I recorded this on my iPad, it's terrible quality, but I thought it was a very funny experience. These two gentlemen saved me in my time of distress. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Go. So my name is Theo Lewis. I'm Alistair. And we just saved the Viking distress. <laughs> Poor old freezing lesbian. <laughs> I've never taken a video on my iPad before. But, but they were very helpful and, and I filed the police report. Police aren't going to do anything about it. Um, I finally made it home. Then I stayed up until 6 in the morning trying to contact T-Mobile service through a chat thing because I can't call them, they have no service here, and trying to get them to send me a new SIM card. I remember at the at the bar, at the pub, this lady's like, oh, do you need a hug? And I'm like, yes, I do. And she just gave me the best hug. There's so many good, kind people to make up for the bad people. I'm meant to leave here in a week. You guys can laugh at my misfortune. I'll probably look back and laugh about it later. I'm gonna eat my cup of soup. I guess we're just doing this whole vlog from this chair today. How does that feel? I mean, you can see how I feel. So before I got pff, robbed, I was taking myself to the Lush store. And I wanted to show you a little trick in case you're traveling or in case you just, you wanna know. Lush, it's like a kind of like natural smelling type of, like they have a bunch of body products and stuff. Well, they do samples and they do pretty good size samples. So these are like, for me, they're travel size samples and they give them for free with anything really. I felt right. This smells like chocolate. So I got chocolate and date night um, masks for myself because treat yourself, it's a free thing. Before that, I was trying out my new um, sunglasses. I got these tech sunglasses for my wish list. Thank you. Um, and I was trying them out on Oxford Street because I thought it would be a good place. And that's the footage that I got right here. Very autistic right now, but it's okay. We're spy. Splashing across the street. Having Autism is being a baby in an adult body and everyone thinks oh capable 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 inside yourself You're dying every single day and I want to cry. I don't want to cry I want to explode it's kind of every single day because it gets harder and harder and never gets easier And everyone's like oh she's got it. She's capable this and that and I just do things um, but inside If I'm being transparent with my poop face I am not strong on the inside at all. The inside crumbles every single day, more and more. I present myself a certain way, but that's... But inside, I'm, I'm a baby. And no one's taking care of me. And 
Not that I feel like I should have someone take care of me, but I'm like, oh, I can't afford that. So I just went to the Apple store and one of my friends in America um, helped me with a discount because I work for Apple and one of my other friends helped with how much it costs. How much it costs? Oh God. Um, I'm so grateful for people. I really am. I have a photo shoot in a little while. So I'm gonna try to get this all set up so I can have directions on how to get there. It's okay, everything is gonna be all right. I do believe there's a, there's a good lesson in every bad situation. So if we can take anything from it, it's a thousand dollar lesson that I gotta learn. So, should I for a run? So I'm here. After this, I'm running. I ran to Pret and picked up some lunch, I'm, and then I ran back with it. So it might be kind of cold now, but I just wanted to highly recommend the meatless meatball subs from Pret. Hot shots. Bit of a masochist, I have to say. This video, I'm just combining everything all together. And I met with my friend Layla. We found an upside down house. <laughs> What's for dinner? Today, I'm just trying to have a chill day because I'm socially pretty exhausted and I'm creatively, I'm everything exhausted. Yes. Tomorrow I have a big shoot with UK shooters. I'm one of the models for them. So maybe I'll show you a little behind the scenes of that. There's gonna be like like 50 photographers or something. I leave very, very early the next day for Colombia. So I'm trying to combine everything and I'll, I'll end here. That's just the rest of this. Nah. You guys ready for Columbia? I'm not. I, um, I took a box of things and uh, left it over at my friend Layla's. So I have more suitcase room. I don't know when I'll ever be able to get it back. You guys see me at my worst, honestly. Like <laughs> every time I think to vlog, I'm like either sweaty or just woken up or just gross or sad or <laughs> whatever. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Absolute, absolute panic last night. It's still kind of night, but I'm heading off to Colombia now, South America. This is very new for me. This is really hard to do alone. Um, just in all honesty, I'm just I get so like I can't even describe it. People don't even realize the how bad the extent is, but I handle it all internally. So it's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But I always have to push through it. Like, what else are you supposed to do? Like, thank you for um, watching this whole London vlog. I know it's pretty long, lots of stuff in it. Um, just, that's what's going on. So I'm going to go and take a very, very long plane ride to Colombia in South America. I love you very much. Thanks, Terrestrial.